What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio, and welcome back to Cooking Companions. Last couple of videos, we, we dove into the Chompette's origins. I still have some questions and puzzle pieces I think I'm missing to, like, really figure out how main character fits in to the overall, like, chronological order of events. But we're going to dive back into nightmare mode. The, the freshest nightmare mode I saved was here. And we're going to see what's just see what's new. Uh, let's check on our achievement progress. We've made substantial progress here. We've got 73 out of 80 achievements and 91% success rate. Ooh, baby, let's get those last seven achievements. This mode is mostly a joke, so don't take it seriously. From the main menu, if you select new game, you can immediately jump to this mode and other ones. If you make it to the end, you'll unlock the Chompette's Cabin courses, a Chompette only event free of humans. For the true cooking companions experience, this mode should be played in a pitch black room with headphones. Once again, I am not doing that. I am playing in broad daylight, middle of the day. It's actually lunchtime. I still screamed. If you still need to max out your relationships, don't worry. You'll get the opportunity to do so in New Game Plus. Nightmare mode activated. You wake up in the bathroom again. Uh, we should really t just take a day to like do some really deep cleaning. We got all those... Crafting wilderness books, surely, surely we can make our own soap. You find a strange note. Oh, I can feel the cold air. Okay. You got the strange presence note. Out of toilet paper again. <sighs> This is my room. Do you see how dark it is? It's cold. But I can look at you. Look at me. Are you scared? Yes. Click, 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 can't run away from this. <laughs> I am scared. You wake in a cold sweat. Your surroundings feel completely different. Mariah's presence is in a rage. She's beckoning you to follow her. You get up and leave the bedroom. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. What a fitting end to such a horrible nightmare. You head to the kitchen for some breakfast. So filthy in here. It's so gross. This will take ages to clean. Good job, you take a few bites of meat. You lost more of your humanity. Which means I still had humanity left to lose. You stare into the ash pile in the oven. Are they still upset? Or are they still mad at you? You head back to the bedroom to take a nap. Oh my gosh. And also, I'm wondering, like, if if killings actually took place in these rooms. I mean, because we've got a cage here. But also, in the Chompette's origins, we learned that we, like, our Chompette characters were still caught in the basement. So that's where all the killings happen. So this might just be... Maybe like PTSD on part of the main character. There was a woman, uh, it was a family friend that we knew for a very long time. Um, she was a Vietnam nurse and she had PTSD like this where she could not use clippers to trim hedges or anything because she would just see blood and, and severed fingers. It was so this might just be like a mental thing of PTSD where everywhere we go, we see the death and the carnage that we've caused in the and the harm that we've put 
onto society as a whole. Which one of them is causing this? Mariah? And Natalie? Gregor? K you crawl into bed and fall asleep. You have a strange dream. Oh, and we get this strange dream. Okay. What? This is new. I don't know what to do from here. Extra? Options? Load game? New game? Exit game? Escape! Oh no! Are we entering an escape the room situation? So I'm so down for that. Wake up, sleepyhead! Aaron? Aaron isn't here. It sounds like she's whittling something again. Did she escape the basement? Aaron? No reply. You head over to investigate. Also, is this like a... That's a huge pipe, if that's a smoking pipe. That's huge. Another trick by one of them. Who's still missing? Karen? Someone is tapping on the window. Hey, Natalie. I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Are you done, Natalie? I'm so over this. <laughs> They're getting more bold in their actions. You head to bed to sleep on it. The four have returned to the first floor of the cabin. Wake up, sleepyhead! Aaron? <gasps> what? Come with me to the living room. I'm vibing with the all white eyes. And the glowing door with Mariah. Oh, I love that inverted, that inverted imaging. Oh, this is so good. Don't argue. You crawl out of bed to face them. But they have no faces. Welcome. We've been waiting all day. Are you satiated by this opportunity? Would you like to start the ritual? What ritual? A ritual to manifest alternative possibilities. Mistakes mended. Regrets unrooted. Let the others depart earlier than me. Let me survive this time. <gasps> Dude, can't we do that? This means join hands with us and form this pact. This ritual is unlike anything you've ever heard of. Agreeing to the pact could result in horrors worse than death. Should I save? Should I make a save point right now? I'm smiling from ear to ear. This is so cool. Anger channeled and linked. Extremely dangerous. There might be no going back from this decision. 
Think carefully before making a decision. Tutorial, this might be a good time to save the game. Well, I already saved, but since we moved up a little bit, I'll go ahead and save again. Okay, thank you, tutorial. Have you made a decision? You nod. I want to save Mariah, but I feel like because I want to do that the most, I want to do that last. I'm going to reject their offer this time around. You wasted this opportunity. Rotten hell. You've passed some sort of test. What is the right decision, though? You crawl back into bed, still shaken from the experience. Should I just let this play out and then go back? The sheets are drenched in sweat. <gasps> you catch something moving out of the corner of your eye. You roll out of bed to see what it is. It feels like 3 a.m. Nothing is moving around the bedroom anymore. Just your imagination again. You head to the basement door. Is Karen still alive? A cold wind blows through the crack in the door. Hi, honey. You wake in a cold sweat. You wake up on the cold bathroom floor. The door is locked. Did one of them hide the key in here? Um, where do you want to check first? Look into the mirror. You get ready to look at your reflection in the mirror. Nah. No, thank you. All right. Under the tub? Mouse poops and dust have gathered underneath the tub. This needs to be swept. There's some scratches on the side of the tub. What happened there? How did you miss this? You notice a note underneath the bathtub. And that was a 1794 court summons letter. Hmm. All right, I'll, I'll save. I'll save here if I want to go, go back to that, because that's like, you know, we've already been through that. Oh, no, I don't want to overwrite my save. I'm sorry. Load game. Pay attention, Aaron. All right. We're going to attempt to save Mariah. Have you made a decision? You nod. Save Mariah. Wonderful. Take my hand. Take Karen's hand. You hold on to both of their hands, ice cold to the touch. You've chosen correctly. I'm proud of you. See you soon. Your breathing begins to slow. The frost collects on the windows. One of your eyes rolls backwards, causing you to drool a little bit on the floor. Something has gone horribly wrong. Oh. And Natalie picks the shortest stick first, leaving the cabin. Then Gregor goes, then Karen. And Natalie, Gregor, Karen. Once the three are gone, it's just you alone with Mariah. Thank you for getting me through all of this. Mariah smiles. Eating the meat breaks most people, but not her. 
The storm clouds dissipate. The sun comes out again. I'm so happy the storm clouds have gone away. I... I couldn't have done this without you. Mariah's eyes widen, looking into yours. I... I want to stay here and take care of you. All my life, I've been looking for my true calling, and it was you all along. No need to ask me the question again. I'm here 75% of my own free will, 65% by compulsion. She answered correctly. How did she know? I bet your arthritis is extremely bothersome. Do you want me to show you a special technique that my grandmother taught me to help with the pain? You nod. Great. Sit down in the rocking chair and let me go to work. You sit down in your rocking chair, watching intently as Mariah comes back with a towel and a bucket of water. I hope this is the start of a beautiful relationship. Close your eyes and relax. You close your eyes, smiling as Mariah gets close to you. I, why do I get the feeling that she's not going to do anything nice for me, but she's going to plunge a knife in my back? Yep. Oh, <laughs> called it. Mariah throws you to the ground, sinking the knife into your chest. Okay, not in the back, but in the chest. But still, I had a feeling. I'm like, oh no, this can't. We're not allowed to have a happy ending, okay? Ooh. It's finally over. No more victims. No more grieving parents. Your reign of terror is over. But now, aren't you susceptible for absorbing the spirit? You're slowly bleeding out, but it's taking longer than expected. Probably because we have no moisture in our body, our blood is like chalk. <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone in Zeke Pain about what happened here. Once all the remains are recovered, I'm burning this hut to the ground. You try to get out a few words, but one lung has completely collapsed. Don't talk. Your hearing begins to fade in and out as you're losing consciousness. Unlike, I'm taking no chances. Going to watch you die in front of me. Then, Ash. Your body finally gives out a stain removed off the earth. A storm cloud lifts off every town. After the events in the Tatras Mountains, Mariah embraces her destiny. The lessons of the cabin would break most people, but Mariah uses it to become a stronger person. After burying a Natalie, Gregor, and Karen, she worked with the Polish government to eventually return home to Ukraine. In April of 1945, Mariah is selected to attend a conference in San Francisco. She's picked over Dmitry. Manoliski to represent Ukraine at the first meeting of the United Nations. Elected to the first committee, she helped create the preamble in Chapter 1 with the UN. Oh, I love this for her. Years later, she would go on to form a committee to investigate atypical beings. Using the cabin as a blueprint, countries around the world begin to document the numerous abnormalities impacting everyone from death rates to food prices. The committee's investigations revealed that many historical events were swayed, either directly or indirectly, by these atypical beings. Mariah provided expert testimony for many of the trials that took place. The books and notes found in the cabin gave helpful insight for prosecutory efforts around the world. When she reached 85 years old, Mariah became bedridden due to cancer. Aww. 
Surrounded by loved ones, she tells everyone in the room about the cabin. I miss them. A Natalie. Gregor. Karen. Oh, but you led such an accomplished, fulfilling life. I love this ending. But... I can leave this earth happy, knowing I shared their memories with all of you. I'm sure Gregory would be laughing right now. On March 15th, Mariah finally passed away due to complications. Surrounded by loved ones, her legacy is one of service and warmth. Cities become safe again. Children can explore freely. The world is now a better place from her actions. That was a good ending! It was such a good ending. Oh, thanks, Dev. Oh, hey. Oh, we're back here, huh? I guess even in death, she would find a way to haunt me. <laughs> uh, in case anyone's curious, I, I did peek in the extras to see if there were any more extra extras we could unlock, but there's not. Let's just load game. Let's go back. Uh, where we where we said no, I, but that was the best ending. I I can't imagine a better ending. Nothing else to find under the tub. In the garbage can under the sink. You check the garbage can under the sink. It's empty, like your soul. You look in the back of the garbage can. Just a guy, gigantic spider back here. If I'm remembering correctly, previously we found a small spider and now we found a gigantic spider, so that's showing the passage of time. Disgusting. There's nothing of note underneath the sink. Why aren't towels under here? We probably threw them all away after we tried cleaning the cabin. The key should have been under here. This continues to be a pretty big disappointment. Okay. Do we look into the mirror for all time, old time's sake? Nah. Inside the mouse hole. The mouse hole seems perfectly rounded like someone used sandpaper on the edges. Did the chompettes do this? The hole itself is pitch black. Would the flashlight be helpful? It might aggravate whatever horror lies in wait. Stick your arm in the mouse hole? No. The key has got to be in that mouse hole. You gather your courage and prepare to put your entire arm in the mouse hole. Okay, so that was an illusion of a choice. You're not going to let me say no? Fine. You slowly put your entire arm inside the mouse hole and peel around. You feel the chilly presence of something behind you. The key is pushed into your hand. You pull your arm out, lifting up the toilet seat to take a celebratory bathroom break. Your hands are shaking uncontrollably from the whisper. The key has fallen into the toilet. Reach in the filthy toilet to get the key. Well, we, we we know it's the Chompette's treasure chest. I'm just going to start rewriting over all my save files. But in the update, I don't know if, if, if we get to open that chest. Let me just say yes. Or unless I don't get the key anyway, because it must have gone down the pipe. Oh, wow. You really put your hand into a filthy backed up toilet, huh? It seems to be a new love for you, ha <laughs> ha. Are you finally going to wash your hands now? Guess not. The sink isn't working. Oh wow. Will the bacteria be the last thing but the thing that does you in? Such a pathetic end for such a terrible life. That key wasn't even for the bathroom door. That was the key to the chump ass treasure box. You really stepped in it this time. Ha ha ha. 
Abbott told me I had to rescue you from this. I wanted to let you starve to death in here, but she insisted. Here you go. Okay, I I went after the key just to check. Oh, maybe I could get the key this time, and then I could open their treasure box. This is the last favor you'll get from me. Goodbye, wretch. You let out a deep breath and exit the bathroom. It's time to end this. You open the door and get ready for what's next. It's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. The spirits aren't active right now. You continue downward. The walls down here, they're dirt and soot. It's nothing. You keep moving downward. The air pressure down here feels greater. You're getting closer to Karen with each step. <gasps> Something is approaching. A false alarm. Are the spirits below going to spring a trap on you? You continue downwards. You hear something in the distance. Is it our Portuguese friend? Okay. When you regain consciousness, you're further down the staircase. You awake with a note next to your head. It's difficult to read, but you can make out a sentence. Don't get up before Saturday. You take the Saturday note with you. The sound of rain has completely stopped down here. Your eyes are strained down here. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. You continue downwards. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. You navigate the basement blindly until you reach the, four, the room with the four directions. You can barely make out the outlines of door frames in each direction. Which way should you go? Now we know going east progresses the game. Let's try to go everywhere else again, just see if anything's different. Once you open the northern door, a cold wind blows over you. This area reminds you of an underground cave. You can make out a door at the end of this hallway. You have a bad feeling about opening it, though. Open it. Yes. You wake in a cold sweat. You're at the four doorways again. South. This room feels warmer when you enter. You begin sweating more than normal. There's a door at the end of this hallway, but it's so hot you feel like you're going to pass out. You slowly open the door crack and peer inside. Vines cover the entire ground. You wake in a cold sweat. You're lying in the middle of the four directions. Which way do you want to go? West. Your eyes struggle to see down this hallway. You strain your eyes to make out an outline of a door. You slowly open it. 
Like, what is that creature? You wake in a cold sweat. All right. Let's go east to the east. Your hands run across the large door. Maybe now isn't the time for this. You walk back to the basement steps, trying to remember why you came this far. Found you. Let's end this. Karen escapes down the hallway, leaving a trail of blood behind her. You follow her to the room in the east. Turn on the light. Reap what you have sown. Mariah. And Natalie. Gregor. Karen. I'll never forget you. And we've wrapped back around to the new New Game Plus. This playthrough will have different dialogue, events, and decisions to make. And Natalie, Gregor, and Karen will start with three hearts each. Use this opportunity to max out your relationships. We highly recommend you create a manual save file right now for this shorter playthrough. Now, we've already done everything in New Game Plus, but there's still new thing. We've still got six achievements to unlock and there should be different things. So this already feels new, Raspberry waking us up first thing. Wake up. I said, wake up. <gasps> yes! I can't keep pretending anymore. Always Mary. How could I be? I was the last to die. You try to reply, but instead have a coughing fit. Cough harder. I can see your jugular vein pumping. Pick your last words carefully. Save game. I don't find fruit intimidating. I'm going to ruin that other eye of yours. So the blacksmith. Again, I'm, I'm a little fuzzy on the details of where exactly the potato ends and the MC begins. Because we had a the blacksmith poked our eye out, but was it our eye, or was it the potatoes' bodies, or was it Baba Yaga? Come on. Don't look away. Look away. Except I'm not. Ah! Oh, hi! We good? We good. <laughs> okay. Let's keep eye contact this time. You're not scared of me? You shake your head. Fine. Goodbye, wretch. Okay. Hold up. <laughs> Load game. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rhina. Yeah? I don't believe you. Prove it. By getting rid of potato. Do that, we're even. Getting rid of potato might be a fatal decision. Rhina has bluffed before. Well? Is Potato leaving the cabin? Ooh. Ooh. 
no. Traitor. Oh gosh. Okay. We'll get rid of potato. Is Potato leaving the cabin? Yes. Fantastic. Follow through with this commitment and be social with others. Don't slide back into old habits. Interesting. Aaron. A Natalie. Gregor. I'll keep us alive. I promise. Everyone watches as Mariah leaves the cabin. So we haven't gotten pixel art of onion or bread yet. Dear Dream Studios presents Cooking Companions. New, new game plus. Raspberry is said to be social because as we learned if we talk to nobody, then we get the abyss ending where Potato coerces us to leave the cabin. Uh, let's talk to Gregor in the bedroom just because I also want to make sure I get all the paper notes. Yeah, see, I didn't notice it before, but look, there's a Mariah, a Mariah face down here. So creepy. Hey. Okay, so this is our newspaper. June 26, 1862, another body of a child has been discovered within the city of Zacopane with the remains stuffed into a barrel full of potatoes. The cause of death was identical to earlier victims with significant blood loss due to multiple stab wounds to the stomach. This marks the fourth victim of the butcher of Zacopane in less than a month. So the Chompet's origins, they mention a third victim, but this is the fourth. Hmm. Hmm. You take the bloody newspaper with you. And it just started raining and thundering so hard outside. You have a strange dream. The river seems to be on fire, glowing eerily in the early morning light. A man on horseback is staring at you from the other side, blowing his nose into a handkerchief. A rickety bridge is the only way to reach him, so you decide to start crossing it. The bridge immediately sinks with your weight, causing the rotting wood of the post to crack. The wind pushes the bridge from side to side, the frayed ropes creaking with each gust. As you reach the center, the man on horseback smiles at you. Raising the hand with a handkerchief, he brings it down in a violent motion, causing the bridge to disappear beneath your feet. As you fall into the river of flame, you can see the man on horseback galloping away. You wake in a cold sweat. You wake up to see Gregor looking out the window. He turns to you, not smiling. Take a look out the window. Do you notice anything? The floodwaters have receded a little bit, but everyone is still bound to the cabin. The trail used to be completely visible. It's gone now. Oh no. Good morning, big guy. I think we should have another piece of meat for breakfast. Is what she would have wanted. You look over at Karen. You didn't notice her even start to eat. Did you guys hear that? My mic picked up the thunder. I think the solution is potato, not potato, raspberry. Raspberry said to be social. So I think as long as we don't 
choose an option where we talk with nobody, we should get another ending. I think. Hi. Keep this between us. I'm not giving a Natalie a choice today. He's going outside. Do I make myself clear? And Natalie is an adult who can make his own decisions. Ugh. Excuse me. Something is approaching. Can you hear me? I've been down here the entire time. It's so good to see you again. There's plenty of bread down here. Why aren't you saying anything? I'll never forgive you for what you did. You put Natalie through hell. You desecrated my corpse. You gave them that disgusting hunger. All of that is water into the bridge now. And Natalie's down here. Come have some bread with us. They always try things like this. Their anger, concentrated near their grave, leads to tricks and traps. You're not falling for this one. Why aren't you listening to me? There's bread down here, loaves of it. Fine. I won't stop you from finding the others down here. One piece of advice, beware of Karen. She's madder than a wet hen as I'll get out and she's fixing to devour you. Bless your heart. She is ill beyond repair. Gregor will try to talk you out of reaching the room. And Natalie will try to walk, talk you into leaving the cabin. And Karen will rip the flesh from your bones. We'll talk again. You feel Mariah leaving the staircase. You go deeper into the abyss. The walls down here, they're dirt and soot. Something is approaching. I'm glad I found you. The rain outside has stopped. Did you hear that knocking? Another trap. Everyone's upstairs and wants to leave. Mariah was worried sick about you. You tell Gregor about speaking with Mariah. Uh, guess I can't lie to you, huh? You just stood there while Karen took my limbs, doing nothing. Are you frightened by her? If you won't come upstairs with me, please turn on the light when you reach the room. I want to see the look on your face when that light bulb turns on. Can you do that for me? You nod. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for letting me lick the bowls clean. That was enough to keep him at bay. We'll meet again soon. Beware, Karen. You feel Gregor leaving the staircase. You descend deeper into the abyss. The air pressure down here feels greater. You're getting closer to Karen with each step. Something is approaching. Oh! Thought 
Can't you still be fending off that glutton Gregor right now? You tell Natalie about meeting with Gregor. Oh. I was going to try and see if you wanted to pick onions with me. You shake your head. Guess there's no fooling you, huh? You survived this long, and now you'll need to fend off Karen. I can't tell if I'd rather have you or her sticking around down here. You ask Natalie where Karen is. Oh. She's just below us. Waiting to devour you. Karen's been practicing on her butchering again. Maybe she'll start with your arms? Ha ha ha. Down here, the whispers have told me about you. I can't even believe some of the things you've done. Worse than any war crime. So many whispers about those sorts of things. So many whispers down here. It ends at the bottom. Karen might be alive down here. But you won't be. See you again soon. Now, is he expecting me to die, or is it just like I'm emotionally dead inside? You feel a Natalie leaving the staircase. You grit your teeth and keep going. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. You feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. And you... Karen's grown stronger than you as of late. Consuming her friends has imbued her with a rage. She's lost in the abyss. And nothing but death can end this madness. I hope you've prepared for what comes next. You can feel something creeping in front of you. Cabbage, what are you? Cabbage, cabbage! It took us forever to move the rubble you put in the mouse holes. Chobats! Uh -huh. Come out! Never fear, Onion is here! Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Raspberry! Sometimes, Merry Raspberry! What lie did you tell them, Potato? That... You had moved on. <laughs> Will you let us go? You shake your head. I think I'm keeping them around because if I let them go and let them pass on, then I'll, I'll be alone with my thoughts. You know, more than I already am. Someday, maybe. Chobets! Cabbage! Cabbage! I can't allow Karen to take over the cabin. She's much worse than you, Stinky. Did you see what she did to Gregor? Unhinged. She's a cut above you right now. <laughs> you don't need our help with this. Just remember what she's done. Not all that anger. She's just like Potato now, right? I'm still here, Cabbage. And as punishment for earlier, we're locking you in the room again, Potato. No chomp at trial needed. You got company down here, Potato. Oh. One of us should have the key. That's enough. No need to twist the knife. <laughs> Good luck. Chompets. Yeah, Let's help out! Cabbage! Look, he's trying to speak! <laughs> Don't be shy, try again! <laughs> I'll take a few more days! Welcome to the Chompets Turnip! Even luck, Chompus Origins from the main menu. Just start a new game. I've already done that. Whee! Cabbage! Hmm! Hmm! K. 
Can we make Potato leave? I thought that was the goal. If we just talk to everybody. Because Raspberry told us to be social. Um, let's do an achievement check. 76 out of 80 achievement. We're still four short. Okay, we've got four achievements left. I will not be satisfied until I get all of them. We may have missed some things in the Chompet's origins. Surely there's a way we, we get to keep the butcher knife. Maybe we just don't check things as thoroughly. Okay, we no you notice a meat cleaver is sticking out of a butcher block. You equipped the meat cleaver. Empty, did somebody rob this cabin? Okay, so we don't want, because when we kept checking the countertops, she made us put the cleaver back and I want to keep it. We've kept our meat cleaver and we're going to open the door to the east. You, Selena, Oleg, and Bolek throw open the door, turning around to see him. Leave us alone. You left the knives upstairs. No, I took one with me. Rhina has the meat cleaver. You think she knows how to use it? He makes a good point. It's four against one. Leave with your life. Ha 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 ha. Say hi to Raziel for me. Hang. Okay, so it was us. The question mark guy. Serial killer going. Hah! And that ending screen is so weird. Like they're reaching out to help me. And then it looks like I just betray them. All right, next achievement hunt. Uh, we clicked in the, the mirror a lot of times when we kept looking out of it. <laughs> I honestly cannot believe you tried to look at the mirror that many times. The Steam community provided that insight for me. <laughs> this is a Dear Dream Studios. Thanks for playing. I'm guessing, though, that you either looked this up in a guide or watched a video. You bet. You bet I did. Because I I want all the achievements. You doubled them. I want them all. If that's the case, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed in you. <laughs> to make this worth it, wanted to tell you about planned content that was untimely cut from Cooking Companions. Oh, sweet. The original idea for the mirror was to have players inspected a number of times, and every 100 times you would get a different look at the main character. That's cool. The art style would change with each milestone from looking younger to completely horrific. This was cut largely because I couldn't find the needed artists for it. And I also didn't want players to see the main character's face. That's probably the bigger reason. Makes sense. What else? I really tried to get the rights to licensed music for the radio, honest. Specifically, I tried to get the old Grey Mare song, which would be inappropriate for the time period the game takes place in. Lastly, originally players could strengthen their relationships with the Chompettes group, which would lead to unique dialogue and scenarios. The problem with that, the majority of playtesters only wanted to talk to the Chompettes. Nobody cared about the humans, so I decided to have you talk to the with the Chompettes after speaking with someone in the kitchen. I am extremely grateful for the reception to Cooking Companions. Your fan art, social media posts, videos, playthroughs, I tried to watch all of them. It is surreal to see something you worked on for five plus years finally come out, but even more surreal to see that people enjoyed it. Of course! I never could have imagined this. Thank you for playing and thank you for watching. Thank you for making this awesome game. This experience has been humbling and wonderful. You're so nice! This game was created during COVID with about an hour or two each night dedicated to it. If I can make this, you can create something wonderful if you persevere long enough. And I would love to learn how to use RenP and make a visual novel game because I love games that you can read. I love the branching dialogues. And choose your own adventure styles. I love it. I hope by the time you read this, the world is a better place for you. I hope you're doing better than you were yesterday. Oh, thank you. Just hang in there and do your best. For the next project, whether that be a sequel to Cooking Companions or something completely different, 
I hope to keep making horror games. And I hope I can throw money at them to make them become a reality. Thanks for playing. Dear Dream Studios. There's better wife. Okay, we... I, I've got two more achievements to go. And I, I went through New Game Plus again. I said nothing to everybody. I should have my notes that I collected. And the reason I kept talking to people even after... Because Raspberry told me to be social. And I thought if I just kept saying nothing again, it would just... I would just get the same abyss ending, but this is different. This is new. Thankfully, nobody broke in while you were away. The cabin looks untouched. Everything exactly where you left it. You wait for the familiar sounds of the chompettes. But years have passed. Have we finally let go of them? Nothing. They must be... busy. Huh. You decide to read the note pinned to the wall, finally! Achievement unlocked. Dread way. Oh, we got one more after this. Okay. Dearest, the name is smudged out. I know you're still upset about Ivan. I'm asking the impossible, but please forgive me and let's end this madness. We're different. To lose track of time. To let feuds rot inside of us, undying while the rest of the world moves on. This isn't healthy. It took me ages to learn this. I'm asking you, please, to let this one die. Sincerely, the name is illegible. Ooh. Huh. Reading this note used to make you smile. But now... You grip your knife, getting ready for the journey ahead. You'll eat well soon. <gasps> oh! We finally saying goodbye. We're we're leaving the cabin, and so we are allowing you to leave the cabin. What if what's potato? What if potato? Well, we got the waving goodbye achievement. We got all the achievements again. Shout out to the Steam community page. I never would have got I mean I would have probably gotten them eventually it would have just taken a lot longer I feel like I'm missing some things still some information and I'm going to have to watch other people's playthroughs maybe that'll help me put things together better I'm still a little fuzzy on the chronological order of like potato and me like was potato the one because my my initial impression was potato killed the children first and then I killed Potato after the fact but it sounds like I was there with Potato perhaps in a similar way that Karen was there with me where somewhere along the lines it was like I was training up Karen to become the next vessel for Baba Yaga so I was I'm probably already living with Potato when Raziel was there and if you want to hear the spooky radio noise, um, you should go play the game yourself so I'm not talking over it. But it sounds like I killed Potato when Raziel was there. And then I inhabited the spirit. So by the time the other children came to the cabin, Raza both Raziel and Potato were gone. And I let go of Raziel for some reason still. Hmm. Hmm. This is a lot to think about, but this is an amazing game. And I think this, this is the last video. Unless there's another crazy kind of update the devs want to drop. <laughs> or if there's a sequel game, which I'm so down for. And I can't wait for the cabbage plush on makeshift. Wow. All right. I'm... 
again, link in the description. Go check out this game. Play it for yourself. Follow the devs on Twitter. Support future projects because this is amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to leave um, some more, you know, or just any game suggestions down in the comments below for me to check out, I would be so happy to do that. Because now that I'm done with Cooking Companions, I don't know what I'm going to play next. But I hope to see you next time. Bye!